What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Let me just move on here a bit. There we go. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sobermanic6, and I love to play Red Orchestra 2. But that's not here what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to talk about the... What I think is going to be an abject failure of this stupid-ass shit, which is Lolcal Live. I don't know why they changed it from the Lolcal podcast, maybe for copyright reasons? I have no idea. But, uh, ordinary game. Oh, Mutahar is going to be in it, right? Is that Mutahar? Yeah, I know that guy. I didn't even know. <laughs> Until this second, I didn't even know. And I don't really care. So, in case you haven't been keeping up with the trend of what's happening, uh, Tom Dark made a video about him, so shout out to him. He knows what he's talking about. Lolcal Live is going to happen. The Lolcal podcast, which has been in the works, if I'm not crazy, for like the last three, four, five, five months. It feels like it's been like longer than that, but I could be totally crazy. And it's just fucking weird. One little fun fact about my apartment, I live next to a busy street, so if I gotta record videos, I normally record in like 1, 2, right now it's 2 a.m. when I'm recording this video, you can see it at the top, oh, you can't see it at the top, right, it's fine. But it's really late, because I can't record it any other time, because if I try to record it during the day, you just get fucking, just, just pelted with like, noise from cars outside, anyway, like, you can hear that, can you? You probably can't, it's fine. So, it's fine. It's just, I was looking at this, and there's a lot to discuss about this weird-ass shit that Keemstar is trying to pull off. Yeah, I haven't blocked that, I don't even give a shit about the guy. Jordan Jordan is a loser. Boogie, I mean, another loser. Keemstar is a different type of loser. He's a loser who takes advantage of people so that he can make money off of people. But, um... What did I have this over? Whatever. Uh, whatever. It's fine. But... I've been looking into this, and really, I think it's fair that we analyze a little bit of this and what's going on with this stuff of Boogie and the low count live. So, the story goes like this, like, I think, I feel like it was six months ago, I'm not gonna double check. Six, nine months ago, maybe a little le longer, a little less, Keemstar contacted Boogie, Wings of Redemption, and DSP Darkside Phil, three of the most famous locales. And he straight up offered each $50,000, I assume tax-free, I hope it was tax-free, they had to pay like, 40, they got only 45000 due to the 5, like 10% discount of that, oh man. Like, you'd still be salty if someone took like, if you had a dollar and someone took like 10 cents out of that, you'd be angry. It's the same idea, but anyway, they got paid $50,000 each. DSP, obviously, he's a retard, so he said, like, no, I'm not gonna do it because contact me during these hours. And, like, the guy says, like, you can't contact me. You, you know that DSP is autistic, you know? Like, these people have schedules. If you do not match that schedule, they are unable to adapt to this. This is something that happens to autistic people. So DSP, with his autism, he's like, Keemstar never contacted me in, by, by phone, and I'm in the middle of a stream, so I can't stop it. If I got a phone call in the middle of a fucking stream that I'm doing, which I stream on Twitch, all I do, I mute it, I answer, I mute the stream, I answer the phone, I go outside, I go around my, my apartment, and then I come back, and it's like, yeah, okay. And I've done that before, many times, but you know, DSP is a fucking retard, and I use this piece of shit, so he can't, obviously, he can't do anything in his life that's, you know, anything correct. He can't. He's just an abject, total fucking failure of a human being. If you want to call him a human, which I don't. I barely, I barely acknowledge him as a, as a human being. But regardless, you know, he says, like, eventually, he says, like, nah, then he tried to steal the idea, which I find pathetic. I'm not even going to delve into that. He tried to steal the idea of this, of the low-cow podcast. I'm not even going to like this. I'm, and... He tried to, like, get his own podcast going for free, so he's like, Hey, Wings, hey, Boogie, like, hey, do you want to, like... And Boogie confirmed this, and Wings of Redemption, I believe, confirmed this. So they were like, yeah, Dax, I feel, try to contact me and said, like, do you want to do one of your own? And it's like, nah. <laughs> Are you gonna pay me? Nope. <laughs> like, we already know that fucking Phil scammed John Rambo and his friends out of money, so there's nothing much to say about that. And by the way, um... Uh, a new DSP documentary came out, so check it out. It's by, it's not by Tom Dark, uh, it's by, um, Tom Dark? Maybe, I, fuck, I don't remember <laughs> who made the, it's somewhere over there, you can look it up. But there's a new DSP documentary that came out, it's two hours long, 
2 hours and 10 minutes, it's fucking wonderful. There are some factual inaccuracies there, here and there, but essentially it just shows that DSP is a lying scumbag, that everyone, he scammed tons of people, he had 2 million dollars at one point, he threw it all away, and on, on gacha, and like, paying for stupid shit and stupid apartments. 2 million dollars in 15 years is a lot of money, but this guy wasted it all, which is just, yeah, amazing. <laughs> it's just, it's just great that he has no future, that his credit is gonna die, that he's basically supported by like four people. Like I said in the last video, anyway. So, Lowcat Live happens, and Wings of Redemption, Boogie have been saying for months. They have been saying it for months that so they've had problems, that they, uh, they're not sure like how they're gonna get through with it, because they've had a lot of problems with the episodes, and because Wings of Redemption, I'm sorry, because uh, DSP did not want to do it. They had to get a replacement loca, which is Tommy CS FPT, who I have before I fucking saw this, I had no idea who this guy is. And then I saw his channel and it's like, well, it's pretty embarrassing. So then I, I went over to take a look at the locale live teaser. And I'm gonna tell you what the problem is with it. So let's take a look at this shit. I already disliked it. I, I'm not finding this entertaining. We gotta do this, we gotta line it up again. And on three. When I, uh, when I say the word three, clap into your microphone. Can we all handle that? All right. One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. You guys line up. We, they were good. I like I like that they're playing. Uh, that's King of Fighters. I'm sorry. I know that, that that's probably not my main focus. You right guys now, line up. Just, I'm just happy seeing the you know NK2 arcade. Pac-Man, normal Pac-Man. I don't know what that is. Don't know that game. NBA Jam, a fucking classic. Uh, and uh, that's King of Fighters, I think. That yeah, that's uh, Robert. <laughs> Robert. I remember because I, I had the <laughs> I had the SNES version of this. I think at one point. I don't know if that's the first game, the second one, the third one. I don't know, but and Asteroids, pretty neat. We, they were good. I don't know, man. I tried. All right. On th when, I, when I say the word three, I'm gonna clap to my microphone. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Did you, Boogie? Did you even attempt to clap? Yes, you can see. I'm it. not even gonna look at the rest of this crap. There is nothing here for me. This looks like trash. Sorry to say, this looks like absolute fucking garbage. It's not fun. It's not entertaining. I don't know what the fuck they're trying to do with this. Like, they're two just autistic children, like, trying to be wrangled up and, like, herded up like little, like, cats. I don't understand what this is. It, it just doesn't look very fun at all. It just looks pathetic. Regardless of that, I don't think that's relevant to the point. But this does not look like a good teaser. And this is something that Keemstar, in theory, should know. This is something that most people know when you're watching a trailer, whenever you're making a trailer for a movie, for a video, for anything, you're going to take the parts that are more appealing to the people so that they want to go watch it. That's the whole point of the trailer. If you ever watched the movie Jarhead that came out in 2004, I think, which had Jake Gyllenhaal and he was supposed to be this soldier in the trailer. If you ever watch the trailer, if you ever, it's on YouTube, you can watch it. Basically, it's like... They show the trailer and they show all these combat scenes and everything. If you ever watch the movie, there's about, I want to say about 10 minutes, maybe, of actual, like, people killing and dying in combat. The rest of it is just waiting around, which is kind of the point. Oh, it's Return of the Jedi. That's what this was. That game sucked, by the way. I just noticed, <laughs> I just looked at the back of this guy and I noticed it's Return of the Jedi. I didn't even notice it. But it's the same thing with this. If this is your fucking appeal, if this is the teaser, like, hey, look at what great content we're making, and they make this shit, and you get 6,000 views in 10 hours when you're supposed to have, like, a huge Titanic channel? I don't know if this is good news. Normally, the first one gets most of the views, then it starts to drop. You know how it goes. Like, normally you start with the first episode of something cool. And like you get a lot of people, let's say a hundred thousand, then it starts to drop until it finds its like more steady audience, and you get like maybe 40, 50 thousand people watching this. It's essentially that's how it goes. But if this is your teaser, this looks terrible. I already gave him this like I don't give a fuck if people give it a like. This looks boring as shit. This looks boring and bad and stupid. So What's the problem exactly with this? What is the problem with the local 
podcast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look a little bit deeper into Drama Alert or Keemstar, Wings of Redemption, and Tommy C. I'm not even gonna look at DSP because it's not part of the local podcast. But the problem that there is right here is that Keemstar had a good idea on paper, but the application is gonna be incredibly difficult. The reason that's gonna happen is the following. Or as Dark Side Pink would say, thus. The problem with it is that these people, the low cows, all these people, first of all, they have a narrative. They have their own narrative. They don't follow other people's shit. When these people are on, on podcasts or anything, they don't let out their true self. They actually withdraw it. These people, they do not have any socialization skills. They don't. They are completely fucking like inbred, just like withdrawn people with severe social anxiety, severe social issues, severe social problems. Boogie spent like $200,000 on like hookers and shit while he had a girlfriend. Wings of Redemption spent all that money that he made on his fucking wife or girlfriends that didn't love him and he's just retarded and he's like, oh, I love you, baby, so I'm gonna get you some. Oh, come on, and just stupid shit like that. Boogie, honestly, I knew about Boogie growing up, but I never, like, I, I mean growing up, like, <laughs> I'm 35, this guy is like uh, 40 or something, I don't even know, he looks 40. We saw Redemption, I know he's not 40 yet, he's already got a white beard. Like, it's it just shows a lot about the fucking way they deal with things. But these people, when they're alone, it's when they are true low cows. They can let themselves go. They can show their narcissistic side to other people. They can show beliefs that they think they're better than everyone else. If you've ever seen Wings of Redemption or one of the detractor channels, you're going to notice that every time he loses, he's like, oh, I could have won, or I'm better, or I'm, I got the lowest score, but I'm still better than you, which is not the case. With Boogie, I honestly don't care enough to like Google it like, or to find it, but I know that he's a pile of shit and I've seen documentaries about him that basically say that Boogie on the outside, people had the perception that this guy was like the Mr. Rogers of YouTube, being nice and everything. And then there were uh, Reddit, uh, Reddit uh, mega threads that were just like, hey, let's disprove this asshole how much of an asshole he actually is. And then his career just kind of went into a downward spiral of death. Like, um, I really do hope that he gets a real job eventually because that documentary just made him look like a bigger, even bigger asshole. <laughs> like, and shout out to the guy that made the documentary because it's really well made. It's like an art piece. It's like an actual movie that you can watch for free. And he got like 100,000 subs and like, just like that, like less than a week. Probably the fastest growing channel in the world, if I'm not crazy. But, like I was saying, the problem with this low-cal podcast, the big problem, the big issue is that these people do not operate well with other people because they're not in control. And that's the problem. These people are not there to talk to other people. They're not there to be friends with other people. They're not there to try and congeniate. Is that the word? Congeniate, I think. Like, try to be friendly with other people. They don't care. They don't give a shit. They're not here for that at all. They're just here to get paid. They're just here to try to demonstrate their, their points of view. Like, and there's a lot of shit that I can say and that I'm gonna eventually get to with Wings of Redemption and with uh, with Keemstar. And just the fact that I don't even I don't know I don't even know if Keemstar is gonna be here or not. Like, is he supposed to be here or is this just these three losers that are gonna be talking to each other, no one else? Because uh, like, what's gonna be the case in this case? But like I was saying before, the problem with this and Keemstar is that he had a good idea on paper. He's like, hey, if I get these three retarded assholes together, let's let's have them talk to each other. They're gonna start saying some outlandish shit, like Wings of Redemption saying that the age of consent should be 12. This guy, I have no fucking clue. And Boogie's gonna say something stupid about his fucking wife or, or like wasting all his money or how hard his life is because this guy's had been victim complexes. So they're like, my life sucks because everything else around me sucks. It's never my fault, etc, etc. But the reality is that when they're with other people, they withdraw. If you want an example of this, the best example that I have of this is the Side Scrollers podcast with Dark Side Phil, which was, I don't remember how long it was, like two hours, I think, maybe less or more, I don't remember. I watched it once, and then I watched the highlights, and it's the same thing. When Dark Side Phil is like there, you know when he's alone, all these people, they're internet warriors. They're like people that are like, 
Oh yeah, if I fucking saw this guy face to face, I'd fuck him up. But then these people, when you they confront you, they start crying. Like DSP, he he got called out by Yaha Base God and like another person, and then he went over to fucking hide and cry in a fucking bathroom like a bitch. Like that's just fucking pussy shit. Like what a fucking loser. But this is how they do it. These people do not interact well with others. <laughs> that's the point. These people are just nuts. They're fucking crazy people. And that's the problem. That's the complete problem with these people. Like, they're not gonna have their, their true takes. They're not gonna give their full-on, like, real locale selves unless they're alone. You can't create lighting in a bottle with this shit. Again, this is my perspective. The first episode has not come out. I already gave my list this like because I think it was boring as shit. I'm not even gonna finish it again. I already watched it once. It was nothing interesting. They're not saying anything interesting in here. This is not entertaining. And I want to take a look at Keemstar a little bit and just try to get into the mind of him because I don't want to give an opinion about the guy without like knowing anything about him. So I don't know much about the guy. I know about him being here for a long time. Date June 2014. It feels like it's been longer than that. I don't know why, but whatever. Username due to 5 million views, but I started to look at the controversies, and really, I mean, there's a lot of shit here. What's going on? There's a lot of shit here that I started to read before I started doing the video. And just fuck off this fucking ads, man. Fuck off. I hate ads, man. He knows where I live. Thank God. And Sniper War, fuck that bitch. Fuck her in the ass, I don't give a shit about this cunt. 8 out of 10 in attractive, but maybe in person she's a horrible human being. But anyway... <laughs> Racism allegations, I mean, definitely was a moderator in Battlecam.com. Battlecam.com apparently is like, uh, apparently from what I googled, it's like, uh, similar to Twitch. Got into an argument with another moderator by the username and called, and called Daniel, Alex called Daniel a Wap and a Dago, which are Italian racial slurs. Due to Daniel being mostly of Italian ancestry, I don't know if that nose screams to me like the guy is like Italian, but where's the face? He doesn't look Italian to me, he just looks like generic, but whatever. Where's the fucking? And then I started looking at the controversy and it's like, god damn, this guy has a lot of fucking problems. Uh Colin Daniel went on with a sweating out infamous blog TV live stream Pierce account is Alex the N-word. Oh fucking righteous fucking N-word, Alex is doing this shit. You fucking n-word. Everyone type in chat, Alice, is a stupid n-word. This was before, like, social justice warriors and, like, the woke movement started to affect this. This thing started to change in, like, 2015, 2016. Everything before that, you could say the f-word, n-word, anything, and you wouldn't get banned. People were just like, nah, don't say that shit, but they didn't care. During the Halo Reach beta, Dan and Robot were in a game with Betrayed Fist when he was preparing to leave the game. But she didn't give you a piece of heads up. That this video was gonna come out. Daniel Acoustic like, F1 denying the request to put a load, at least said it was okay. The coronavirus and his fans over to go find me. Okay. Few would wins redemption. I mean this is one of the things. <laughs> Contact with Daniel for help. Talking shit about wings. Wings then uploaded a, a response video and the fans started flying each other. The vote were Machinima Directors, Mr. Sark or Ranger Median. I don't know who half of it. I don't know who Mr. Sark is. I don't know who Advanced UAV is. I don't know these people. If someone deserved to die on this planet, Daniel Kim would be one of them. This is good. Daniel tried to get switch up down for violating. They talked this out when Daniel joined, uh, joined a live stream. Well, I know that his switch got banned, so he, he's not coming back to it. So, I mean, there's so much about, like, fucking drama there. I'm not gonna read all of this individually. But uh, one thing that you need to understand about my personal opinion about Keemstar is that the guy, you know, he makes a living out of this. So I respect his job. I respect that he does this for a living. But I have zero respect for Keemstar because the guy is a fucking leech of the internet. He leeches onto all these things and he basically jump starts drama. Like he sees drama and he's like immediately there talking about it. Like, hey guys, let me do and there are people that are going to watch his content, and there are people that are going to like his content, but that doesn't remove the fact that the guy has no morality. Keemstar has no morality. It's fucked up. It's incredibly wrong. What he's doing. 
and he just takes advantage of people and he's like i'm gonna talk about all the drama and shit and that's what he does that's all he that's all he's famous for like i don't know he, apparently he's done all the stuff but this is all he does he just keeps doing all this stupid shit and it's like drama 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 that's a terrible way to live man that is a horrible way to live that's just one of the worst things that you could ever do in your life like you're talking to these people and it's like Hey man, I heard that you wanted to commit suicide. Hey man, I, I heard that you planned a school shooting. Let's talk about it in, like a live on stream. Whatever drama appears, this guy's always there like flies on pig shit. It's disgusting. It's fucking horrible. That's his job. This is what he does for money. I respect him having a job. I don't respect him as a human being because it's fucking disgusting what you're doing. Feud with obviously Jesus. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, six months after that, it was swatted. Yeah, I heard about the the swatting. Uh, wish that the police would have shot his daughter, his daughter Mia. That's fucked up. An all I warrant shit between the two on Twitter. You know that that this gay shit of people like being like, oh, I'm gonna get into an internet fight with you. You know, if someone tried to start a beef with me on Twitter, you know what I would do? Exit Twitter. If you want to get into a beef, you know how you do it? You call a lawyer, you make a lawsuit, and then you fucking sue their ass. That's how you're supposed to do it. Fucking hell. And asked for his dog, then released it. That's great, look at that. Isn't that great? Daniel was swatted. Isn't that great how Daniel has swatted people? And doxed them, and then released it? Oh, isn't that nice? This one I read it though before, Feud with Woody's Gamer Tag. So Woody was a friend of Wings of Redemption before Wings of Redemption ruined everything because he ruined it. And I saw this, taking $500 from a kid for a shout out. That's pretty messed up, man. Like if someone came over to my stream, and, like if a 13 year old, 14 year old kid came over and said like, Hey man, I just donated $1,000 from my, my mother's like credit card for you, thank you. I would immediately revoke that shit and like call his mother and be like, dude, ma, uh, miss mom, you know, miss whatever your name is, look. Talk to your son, he just donated a thousand dollars to me with your credit card, like not even his money, come on. And then give him a fucking whooping so that he learned. Are we just doing this for the money? Later that night, Woody and his family were streaming movie night. Say you're also kind of touched the family that with Woody ended the stream. Why? I don't know. He tweeted and it blew up. Well, you know, that's not cool. Like, don't don't advertise your family. There, there are things there, but you know, don't get involved with this shit. Like, this is what I mean. Like, Keemstar, I don't know what other content he could make. I don't think he's an entertaining guy. I think he's just a person who's good at making other people get angry and like inciting shit. That's why I don't respect him. Charitable live stream to saying to raise money for St. Jude's. Man, I, I gotta make a video about how if you donate like a dollar, how like only like maybe five cents end up in the pocket of the people that you're supposed to help and the rest just like gets, gets like taken by other people. Did not like Daniel. And started running ass on the stream because of the Daniel started cussing out in reality on the stream and letting you hold these poor sick bastards. Damn, that's nice. What what do you mean allegedly? There's no allegedly. It happened or it didn't happen. He doesn't say it was a human mistake to embed keys though. War with juice with juice and chaos. That's very, very fucking manly. I am at war with you, internet war, it, it, all this gay shit. I wish I could say the words that I want to say, like the F-word and other stuff, because I would fucking call this guy what he really is. An absolute bitch. When I fly exposed for common videos on YouTuber, Daniel Lot got on the back his show, but he backed out, so he, I don't know. The real the backstory that without blood we kind of deal. I don't even understand all this crap. Is there anything like short here? But look at all this crap. Look at all the fucking look at the bar here. Look at all the crap. Billy the Franco, I know he's a scumbag and he just does like pandering content, so you know they should be friends with each other. That the Franco elite patron is a scam, and that the Franco is a panderer due to his middle ground stance. Hey, mm -mm. Uh, you know what a, a panderer, you know, like, hey, try to get that drama, baby. Big YouTuber responses. Well, this is Drive is more popular content by Jax Films, by Markiplier, Daniel Drive. I mean, yeah, of course. Pedophilia relation, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, uh,. 15 year old girl apparently live streamed herself naked with Daniel allegedly order her to do so. What do you mean allegedly? This is like, hey, I, here's a tape of someone shooting another person. Well, he allegedly shot her. It's there. It's evidence. Much criticism. Daniel's first reaction. He had many girls get naked. Oh, wow. Keemstar will no longer hurt us. Oh, baby. 
as host of Drama Alert. Well, there you go. If you have a lot of money, remember, you can tell people that are 15-year-old girls to strip and not get arrested. Remember, money is what matters. It's not about anything else. Content cop episode. I remember IDAPS from the past. He used to be funny. Now he's just a pile of shit. What is this? Ever, ever since he got caught, it's like, nah. <clears throat> then it has, uh, criticize him as both past and present. Well, yeah, of course. Did it survive the current have seen a mouse down through? Yeah, absolutely. His personal experience with Daniel, how Daniel leaked his personal image on Twitter. Not defending Daniel a lot. Yeah, you see what I mean? They're, they're all piles of pieces of shit, and this is what sells, you know? People are attracted to shit. They want to see all this crap. Ultimate has seven relations between Power and Daniel. Look at this asshole. I wonder what, like, PewDiePie's opinion is about Keemstar. I don't know if they've ever talked together, but honestly. Has information unofficially doxed to Daniel, have their own drama in the past week, raiding Daniel's streams, harassing- Well, you see, this is just childhood shit. Why the fuck are you raiding fucking bigger YouTubers? Don't do that shit. Kingstar exposed... Kingstar exposed video, responded to the rapper Josh Shane, and explained so sad of the story. There is so much crap. Drama alert scandal. He accidentally went... He later gasses him after that he had done. Daniel had complete access. He had multiple terminated accounts. Never got taken down. Yeah. No shit. Because this is biased as fuck. Leafy's here. Against Daniel. Being a pedophile, racist, woman beater, talking crap. Uh, crap behind this bag. Well, Leafy was in with Doxin. Swan manipulation, hypocrisy, racism, and dog shit behind this bag as well. So I'm very glad that my opinion about him <laughs> hasn't changed. Monday Matt? I mean, yeah. Yeah. That I don't care about. Monday Matt is a fucking loser, so fuck that guy. That, that guy can go fuck himself. Fucking mad boulder asshole. Um, Docs and Destinies. This is just such fucking bullshit by the guy. You know what a lawsuit is, right? Like, this guy docks you. You can go to trial and, like, get him, like... It's like, if people wanted to ban DSP, they would just make a lawsuit against the guy. Like, I donated $10, and he said he was gonna do something, and he didn't do it. That's a lawsuit. Deal with the quartering. The quarter is also an asshole. Onision's interview, I don't care. Keemstar, but there's so much shit, it's ridiculous. Look at all this crap. Tell me that the guy is a fucking good guy. Wow. Terminating Dinosaur for 30 minutes, that's cool. Anyway, there's too much shit. Anyway, my opinion about him, he's a fucking scumbag. He makes money out of it, but he's still a scumbaggy person, so fuck uh, Keemstar in the ass. This guy's a loser. Wings of Redemption, there's so much. There's so much. I like that it's one, two, three, controversies, everything. <coughs> Quick scoping. <coughs> nice. Hutch, which anger? Did a dual commentary? Who at that time had larger viewership? I don't even know this guy. I've never even heard of him. Is this guy still on? Uh, let's see. Wow, okay. Is it still active? I'm just gonna check this out real quick. Hutch. He's still doing stuff? Okay, look at that. Those are pretty decent numbers. I mean, for 800 and he's got a Twitch and stuff? Hell yeah. There you go. Okay. Good on him. So he's already doing better than Wing, so... <laughs> I mean... Feud with Keemstar. I mean, this is what... <laughs> F... A... I'm sorry, at G. There's a lot of drama. You can read all this trap. Uh, the Pro Syndicate match. I can tell you a few things about Wings of Redemption. Like, he has planned, Wings of Redemption has done and planned, and he has said so. And the fact that he's not banned or arrested is crazy. He's threatened to commit suicide. He has shown guns live on, like, his, like, Facebook profile or whatever, saying, like, this is the bullet that I'm gonna use to kill myself. He said that he has planned school shootings. This is not hyperbole. He has said, I have planned school shootings. The fact that he's still fucking not arrested is disgusting. He said that he's gonna drive over to people's houses and shoot them and kill them. He hasn't been arrested, he hasn't been banned from YouTube, he hasn't been banned from Twitch. He, he should be on a fucking watch list if he's not already, he probably is. He has doxxed people. He has apparently uh, uh, sexually abused like younger, uh, younger children. He has also, what's the other word for this? He has also um, seen illegal underage pornography. Different types. And that's not something that you get from like YouTube. This is something that you go looking for. This guy was looking for illegal pornography. He found it. 
and he's like talking about it. If you don't believe me, he actually gave himself a contradiction when he went to RTU. Re um, what the hell? RTU is the um, Review Tech USA. That's the name. And he went over there and he described like two different videos. He said like the age of consent should be 12. Legitimately. Because a 12 year old can make their own damn decisions. Like, I can't even tell you how fucked up that is. No, they can't. They're fucking, their brain hasn't even developed past like the point where they're like doing that. There's so much wrong with this guy. He's a complete fucking psychopath and I would not even let it like... If I live in the same state as him, I would go beat his ass because fuck that. No. So, the Pro Syndicate match, I mean, this one was amazing. Uh, smash his controller. Try to bribe him. I mean, this is where he started to lose everything. Suicide drama. Oh, there we go. And declare how he's on the verge of killing himself. Yeah, pathetic, because he's a pile of shit. And if I kill myself, I'll, t I'll take it you with me. Interest. See, this is what I mean. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Only used to play the who's now a fucking drunkard. Bootcamp survival trip, he said, like, we're gonna go on a camping trip together. The guy did not go and abandoned his friends, go fucking themselves. And then he kind of just migration to Twitch. <laughs> oh my god. It's just pathetic. Uh, stream sniper incident. <laughs> Look here. Look here. No, let us. Sean Rankley, an amazing guy. Uh, there's so much here. The weight loss surgery, which was a scam. He got like twenty thousand or forty thousand dollars or something. I don't remember how much he got. And he said like, I'm gonna go over to this location. I'm gonna get a surgery. But then he went to Mexico and he only used like half the money and he kept the other half. And it still hasn't worked because he's still a humongous five pile of shit. He's like four hundred and fifty pounds. This guy's a fucking like massive cow, literally. Post surgery, you know, he got married to a woman. Uh, who he treats like shit. He treats his wife like absolute garbage. Um, she also like cheated on him. Apparently, not maybe not. Maybe he eventually like he got caught. Uh, he's just a pile of shit. Like there's so much to say about this guy. Harassment allegations. Bully him, or Jordy would be unfair while playing with him. Well, that's just childish. Of Jordy raving his own systems, we got a kid out of the house. You know, seeing as how he says that the age of himself should be 12, I would not be surprised. If that true. Many people were confused about the situation. Uh, kissing Jordy appeared to feeling harassment. Yes. Uh, the allegations were false. Yeah, that's his friend, I think. Yeah. Lasagna videos. Fuck. Oh, yeah, and this retarded little take that I actually remember watching a video about it. It's more economical to eat fast food than it is to cook at home. Yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> he said he's that mentally retarded. He got paid a bunch of money to go into a boxing match. 10,000? I mean, that's pretty good. He got 50k for the low-count podcast. And... Why the fuck you stream that shit? We had a dog day in N-word, N-word, bitch my shoes. I mean, he said, he said all this stuff, and some of this stuff I've heard... Uh... I want to see. No, he hasn't said that. That's okay. People cheat on the white man is one thing that he said. It's just insane, man. Fucking insane. The amount of shit that you see. Even 16 up like that. To make your own damn decision. I cut, I cut child pornography off uh, around 12. You see what I mean? I did say the age of consent should be 12. Fucking disgusting. Portugal's in South America, homie. I mean, fuck you. Band the world Muslim. Like, this is all real stuff. It's, it's just insane. It's it's just insane. It's absolutely insane. And then we get to Tommy C's, which I saw a little bit of this. I don't know anything about this guy at all. 47,000 subscribers. I've never heard of this guy. Uh, he makes content about drama. So he's another leech like Keemstar and another fucking loser. But people, hey, you make money out of it. No disrespect. Go for it. Uh, one in a five thousand US dollar race for the show. Clown one went on the post and getting 50, 30, and 20. I don't see so far uh Keemstar Local Live podcast, so I don't know. I don't know any of these people feud with other people. I don't know why he decided that he was gonna get this guy here, but so far all I can tell you is that I personally think based on all the evidence that or that I, or my perspective at least on all this stuff, that this is gonna be an abject failure. That he's gonna waste a hundred and fifty thousand dollars 
For Keemstar, maybe that's not a lot of money. For a person like me, that would be Titanic's amount. Man, if Keemstar wanted to pay me $50,000 to fucking go on a fucking podcast and record like 10 episodes, I would do it. I would fucking... If someone offered me like fucking $50,000 to go there and give my opinion on this shit, my takes, I would absolutely do it. I would be like, hey guys, like, I would put my <laughs> my job on hold and be like, excuse me, I need to take, like, whatever long time this is gonna take, I'll refund your money, I'll give you other teachers, whatever, but like, I'd be like, no, <laughs> fuck this. But it's, um, it's embarrassing. I don't think it's gonna work. Personally, like I said, sum it up, I think that it's gonna be a disaster, I think that it's just gonna be boring shit. <laughs> These guys are not gonna give their real takes. They're just gonna be there. They're gonna be talking crap about each other all the time, and nothing good is gonna come out of it. <laughs> That's what I think is gonna happen. So, that is it for me. I wanted to do this video about the Low Cat Live podcast. It's gonna be a, I believe it's gonna be a failure. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna keep the video up, or maybe even erase it, it doesn't matter. And just be done with it. But I personally think, looking at all the evidence, that I think it's gonna be a fucking failure and it's not gonna be good. But that's what I think. So, gentlemen, and to whoever might be watching, it's been a pleasure. If you like the video, the, 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 whatever. Fuck it. I don't, I don't do that shit. So, peace out, gentlemen. This is Superman XX signing off. Peace out. See you soon.